What's going on guys? I consider myself a jack of all trades, but my name's Jeff, so welcome back to Jeff of All Trades. I've been thinking about how to put a red dot sight on my Glock 43 recently, and as you can see, there's no MOS, there's no milled slide, nothing that I can do for this. I ended up getting my hands on a DPP mount. This is a titanium mount that gets attached right into your rear dovetail. Once you apply that, you can apply any red dot sight you want. Today I'm going to be putting on the Holosun 507K. It's for concealed carried pistols, and I'm really excited to see how it works with this DPP mount. Let's install it and see how it works. All right, jumping right into it, we're going to get into the installation of the DPP reflex sight mount and then the hollow sun as well. First thing you want to do before modifying or handling any weapon is to completely clear it. Press magazine release. Check that it's empty. And then what I'm going to do is actually take the slide off for a little bit of extra safety since we are going to be manipulating this around. First thing you're going to want to do is to bang out this rear sight here. It's just on a dovetail here. You just want to bang that out. I use a block of wood. Move this stuff over. Just put it on the side of the block of wood. You can always use a little bit of a towel if you want to help keep things safe. This isn't going to hurt anything the way that I'm doing it. And then I'm just going to take this hammer here. It's very soft, um, but hard enough to knock this out without damaging the sight at all. Just go ahead and hold it in place. Give it a few short, short whacks. It falls right out. And that's what you're left with. Go ahead and put that to the side because you won't be needing it. And then on here, you can see the dovetail itself. It's called a dovetail because it looks like a dovetail. But you see how it's a little bit wider on the bottom and then thinner on the top. That's exactly where this DPP is going to slide into. Screw down to add added pressure to it and keep your red dot exactly where it's supposed to be. When you get the DPP, it comes in this nice little case here. This is the mount itself. This one is actually made for the hollow sun, so it'll line up with the footprint of the hollow sun. And then it comes with, obviously, your tool to install it. And then it comes with these different bags here that show exactly what you need what screws you need for which gun. Smith & Wesson shield for a Leopold sight or for the hollow sun. Since I have a hollow sun, that's what I'm going to be using. For now, you want to take this sight, and if you read the instructions, it does say to file down this flat portion right here. This is the part that's going to slide into your dovetail and really make a good connection. If you put it in now, It'll slide in about halfway. Uh, you can pound it all the way in, and it'll be really, really snug. But because the instructions say to file it down, I'm going to file it down a little bit, just the surface, and see if we can't have it slide in there a little bit easier. Now, if you do want that added support, that added pressure from there, you do not need to file it down. You don't need a sight pusher or a sight puller for this. I just use this hammer here, and it works out just fine for me. Well, let's go ahead and file this down as the instructions say to do. Just going to be using a basic metal file. You can see what I did there. I just pretty much took the uh, black off of the dovetail portion here, just the flat part, 
didn't take away any of the actual material, um, just the paint off of it. But it's a nice smooth finish now, it was before, and uh, now we're going to go ahead and install it. When you're installing this, you want to make sure the long part is over the slide of the weapon. Just go ahead and slide it in as much as it'll go. You see how it went a little bit more this time as well, which is nice. And then put it on that edge of that block. Just give it a few short hits and it'll sit right into place. All right, so that's about as close as I'm gonna get it for this video. I am gonna take this and uh, measure it and make sure it's exactly what it's supposed to be. But you can tell pretty even on that side, very little raising to the actual slide itself. In my opinion, this is much better than sending your slide in to get milled or cut out or anything like that. And it's completely reversible. So if you put this on, you don't like it, pop it right back out, put your rear sight back in, and you're good to go. There's no permanent damage or changes to your weapon. Now that that's done, you can go ahead and get rid of your wood. And you want to grab this baggie of screws right here. This is just some set screws that also come in the kit. You just want to take one of these. You can see that all the screws come with Loctite on them already, which is fantastic. Just going to take one of these set screws and you're going to put it right into this middle hole of your mount. And it's going to add pressure from the slide to the mount itself. As the screw goes down, it's going to put pressure on it and just tighten everything up together so you can be sure that this mount is not going to go anywhere while you're shooting. Want to go nice and tight on that, get rid of the extra Loctite. And having these set screws is great because when your red dot sight goes on there, there's nothing protruding to make sure that it's a good fit. Next part is to grab whatever sight you want to use. Again, I'm using the 507K. It is met for the footprint of the hollow sun. Go ahead and put that on. Grab your screws here. You want to use these screws instead of the ones that come with the weapon because these are designed to fit the mount and everything else as well. These have Loctite on them. And go ahead and screw them down. And there you have it. Attached, quick and easy. You can see from the back here, very minimal footprint. It's actually the same width, a little bit wider than the actual slide itself. Doesn't raise it up much at all. I do have one of these on my Glock 17 as well, and uh, it looks fantastic. It feels fantastic to be able to put this on without having to mill or cut your sight up. Let's go ahead and put it all back together. And there's your completed Glock 43 with hollow sun using the DPP mount. And there you have it. New and improved Glock 43, now with a hollow sun red dot using the DPP titanium mount. I really love this thing. My favorite thing about it, it's reversible. You don't have to get your slide cut apart. You don't have to get it milled out. You don't have to buy a more expensive slide for it. You can spend 30 to 40 bucks, get yourself one of these. It's secure. I have this on my Glock 17 that I put plenty of rounds through. It doesn't wiggle at all. It doesn't go anywhere. 
And if you don't like it, you can take it off, put your dovetails back on. I absolutely love this thing. Thank you very much to my sponsor for giving me this DPP and having me give you an honest review on it. Very easy to install. I recommend you pick one up yourself. Make sure you like this video. Comment below if you have something like this or a DPP yourself and how you like it. Make sure you're subscribed. And as always, stay safe. I'll see you in the next one.